We're not talking a few symbols. We're talking whole walls, 40 feet high. They took an instrument and they penetrated where all these thousands of symbols are. We can't even comprehend how you would do this unless there is something that interacts literally with the molecular level of the basalt. The very material of which the ceilings are made is neutralizing gravity. We're not dealing at all with anything human. I think in my own work, that what has been unfolding for me since 2017 have been whistleblowers that have been coming from a variety of directions, but the two most significant have been U.S. Navy SEALs. I know their background, I've seen their documents, I know photos, I know places that they have been. And when one sits in front of me and says, I have seen the photographs of humanoids that are based in Antarctica, and that what he has seen with his own eyes, two miles down under ice, are hieroglyphs that archeologists that he was in, that was the mission, was a scientist had been in there studying all this ancient archeology span two miles down under the ice. And the Navy SEAL gets to walk one of these huge rooms, nine acre rooms, ceilings. One SEAL tells me he's been there uh, in 2012, the seal that I have been able to videotape, he was there in 2004. So I have two completely different seals. They're describing exactly the same kind of architecture. Black basalt symbols that the archeologist that the 2003 Navy seal, his task was to go in and do what the seals call extract that's when they have somebody who is there on mission and the SEALs come to get them out to take them someplace else. So he got to talk with this archaeologist at great length. And he said that the archaeologist compared thousands. We're not talking a few symbols. We're talking whole walls, 40 feet high, completely covered with symbols that the archaeologist says are somewhere in between Mayan and Egyptian and are neither. And that they took an instrument and they penetrated where all these thousands of symbols are and they all go in seven centimeters, which is about three and a half inches. But they're thin, they're carved into this dense black basalt on an even seven centimeters. And the seal said to me, in discussing with the scientist. We can't even comprehend how you would do this unless there is something that interacts literally with the molecular level of the basalt and turns it into these very refined, evenly deep symbols. The seal said that when you would walk into these big nine acre rooms, they can't see supports. Yeah, so imagine that you're in a nine acre room. There's a ceiling, but there are no supports. The seal who was there in 2012 independently has his own unbelievable story that I'm sharing at Awakening. He said that he was in a space and they knew by measurement of what they were doing from satellite that the ceiling was at least 80 feet high, no supports. Both seals tell me the same thing that the conclusion is that the very material of which the ceilings are made is neutralizing gravity, self-activating software neutralizing gravity. It's not something that the human mind is used to seeing or even comprehending. Is this definitely ET then and not an ancient civilization? Ask him the same question both. Mm -hmm. And they both say, we're not dealing at all with anything human. We are dealing with ancient, extraterrestrial interactions with this planet going back probably millions of years. When you ask the question, when was the last time that Antarctica was free of ice? The consensus in terms of geophysics is that you have to go back to at least 34 million years ago. There was a period around 
14 million years ago where it might have heated up and become drier and then gone back to ice. But the big division is 34 to 33 million years ago. And what had been happening for the previous 70 million, that is the disconnect from Pangaea when all of the land was all hooked together and a portion that became this roundish Antarctica starts coming down for at least 70 million years, moving south the whole time, for at least 70 million and probably longer. The entire moving Pangaea continent that we know as Antarctica was tropical. The pollens, the seeds, it's all tropical, high temperature land until, and it's a huge mystery what happened between 34 million and 33 million years ago. And that is when ice began rapidly to build up, up to two miles and in a few places, three miles on this round continent. So the question that both seals said to me, could 62 acre sites, half a dozen of them, that are now two miles under ice. The 2012 seal got there by going in on a submarine, coming out and said to him, it was one of the most astonishing things is that they came out of the submarine into what looked like a molded piece. How did they know where to look? Oh, we're dealing with ice penetrating, ground penetrating radar. We know a lot about what is two miles and three miles down. It isn't being shared with the public, but uh, our government and probably other governments know quite a bit. Mm. Did they say that there's ever military from other countries there as well, or is it pretty much America that's... In terms of the SEALs, mm. they would come Spartan 1 in the video that I'm sharing at Awakening. They came into McMurdo. They came in on an uh, aircraft carrier, launches a helicopter. The helicopter goes to McMurdo. They get on half tracks. They go up toward the Beardmore Glacier, and that is the ju jump off uh, to how they get to this deep underground through an octagonal structure. The other uh, Navy SEAL who was there in 2012, he's the one who came in under on a submarine to this two mile deep entrance. And he said that it was astonishing that as they come out, most submarines, if they're that deep, there has to be a, some sort of a decompression airlock thing. And he said the whole structure, they came in on the submarine and when they move, just like the seal from uh, 2004, 3, 4, the walls move with you with light, that the temperature stays between 68 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit, that they have looked for the energy source. They cannot find anything that has wires. There's nothing that we would recognize, and yet, if it is 33 to 34 million years old, it is still sustaining a structural integrity with temperature, with pressure. He said, when you realize that you're in a place, I'm walking. That's what Spartan uh, one told me. He said, I am walking. It takes me 15 minutes to walk from one end of one room to the other. This is how big the structures are. And he said, you have light that is moving with you. You have this even temperature, you're looking up at ceilings and there is no structure that is going up. And they are maybe 33 to 34 million years old. These that crafts are buildings. Well, maybe, but the idea is that these structures would be what our government has described in extraterrestrial investigations for a long time, self-activating software that we are dealing with advanced intelligences that know how to take a wall put in at the atomic level programming, just like we would do software in a computer, only they're doing it with structure. And both of the SEALs said, if you think about two miles of ice on any structure that humans could make on the earth, it would not sustain two miles of ice. It would collapse. SEAL Spartan 1 
who was there in August of 2003. He says that when you know that you are two miles down and you're looking at these ceilings that have no support structures, he said it's incomprehensible to the human mind when you know where you are and you know how much weight there is above. And therefore, the ceilings have to be some kind of self-activating software that are sustaining because they are neutralizing gravity. And there must be some change in the physics between these deep structures and all of the ice. Sort of in a way that the existence of these structures to the seals who have been there are living evidence of something that is not comprehensible to them. How now, does it affect them that? How, does they, how do they process? Have they struggled with, with this experience? Well, they both have said the same thing to me. And it's one of the reasons why Spartan One did the video interview with his colleague, who is a Marine, um, Spartan Two. He said, when I was there to extract that science, and I'm looking at all of these symbols in this dark, dark volcanic basalt, walking 15 minutes from one end of one quote-unquote room to another. Each of the facilities, 62 acres, six at least that he knew of. He said to me, Linda, why shouldn't every human on the surface of this planet know about what we are going to in a military way that's two miles under ice in Antarctica? And that is the everyman question. If this exists, why? What would be any possible reason for why humanity on the surface of this planet should not be told everything there is to know and show about huge architecture deep under the ice of Antarctica? Why? What is it that our government and other governments know that they don't want the surface life to know? Okay, go another step. Spartan One, his Marine colleague, the other SEAL, they've all been exposed to the same information. They have been shown photograph that the exact same symbols that are carved in that basalt in Antarctica, they have seen photographs that we have taken on Mars, and they have seen photographs that have been taken on an interior base on the moon. And they say all of the symbols match. If you like this video and you want to see more amazing content, go ahead and check out the next video on our channel.